All right, hey Mike, uh, a couple things here. Um, so first of all, on consultant profit, um, I went through some stuff today, and one of the things that I noticed is the page that we put together is loading really slow. So I sent some instructions to my team to speed that up. Um, I think that that might be why we're getting poor uh, lead costs there is we're, we're probably getting a really high bounce rate because of that slow load time. So I'm hoping that will uh, help bring down the, the CPL a bit. Um, what I'm also doing is working with Roger on several tests inside of um, the existing ads where we're changing around some of the different settings and things like that. And then I also identified some opportunities for some new creative, uh, which I'm going to start working on creative for this on Wednesday. Um, I want to get through some of these other testing protocols that we set up today before we go into that. So, I mean, everything's looking good over there. The, the, I mean, the big, big problem, which has kind of been the case the whole time, is, is CPC and CPL. So we're just going to keep working on trying to get that refined down um, so we can get more lead flow coming through and uh, increase the the profit margins over on consultant profit. That's my big goal for this month. All right, so the rest of this video, uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, just walking you through the copy that I put together for uh, publishing profit so that you understand what I'm doing here, and then um, we can uh, keep moving this one forward. All right, so one of the things that I, what I decided to do is I took a look at your landing page, and <clears throat> now this is a good headline. Uh, what happens here is, you know, I, I see a lot, there's a lot of language in here, right? So there's a lot of, a lot of ideas and, um, you know, it, it, I can't really put all of these ideas the way that they're formatted here in the headline into an ad like that because it's going to create confusion for people. We see simplifying things down quite a bit is what tends to work a lot better. So what I wanted to do is, you know, I wanted to really play on the curiosity ploy that you're using here with, you know, you know, is this the most powerful marketing tool in the world? So that's what I used for the hook. And that's our, our uh, you know, our link headline on the ad. So is this the most powerful marketing tool in the world? And then I made everything up here all, you know, uh, basically to build on that curiosity and kind of break out these ideas uh, individually. So I, I used a flagging statement up here to call out to entrepreneurs and business owners. And then I asked them this question here of, you know, what's the number one thing you're looking to do in your business in 2017? Because, you know, some people are looking for better clients. Some people are looking for speaking opportunities. Very very rarely is anybody thinking of all of these different things at one time. So I wanted to say what's the number one thing that you're looking to do and then I broke all of those things out, embellished them a little bit um, and, and uh, basically asked those questions. So would you like to get better clients, How about closing more deals, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I tell them here, like all these things are fine and dandy by themselves, but what if there was a tool that could do all of this for you at once? So now what we're doing is I'm showing them, hey, you can actually get all of these things out of this at one time, even if you're just looking at one of the one of those things as your main idea. Um, so then I go into telling your story. Uh, been in business since 1991. I've been perfecting a marketing tool that's so powerful. It helped me do the following. Um, and you can correct me if I'm you know, wrong on any of these statements here. Um, I pulled all of this stuff just from your uh, about page on your, on your website. So I wanted to lay all that out like that to really build your credibility and authority in this ad and show that, you know, hey, you've been building this thing out and it's had really great results for you. Now, how much, you know, the book has affected a lot of these other things I don't know, so if you know if you're not comfortable with the way I'm positioning this, just let me know. But you know, from what I understand, you know, books have been pretty integral to your success uh, throughout a lot of this stuff. So, um, so basically, what I did was I, I told I told I put all that stuff in, and then um, then I transitioned over to the stuff with with Richard Dreyfus. So you know, and I went in uh, on top of that. This marketing tool has allowed me to approach, engage, and work with all kinds of celebrities, including Richard Dreyfus, as you'll see in the images below. So what I, what I'm to do is take a bunch of these images that we have here with all of these celebrities and I'm going to do a post on your page with this copy on your fan page where we can put a bunch of these images in there all at one time um, and then we'll use that post ID as an ad because I, I think if we if we combine all of this stuff up um, into one ad, it's gonna it'll uh, truncate the images like this. It'll look really cool. It'll be unique, and it, like I said, it's building up a lot of that 
um, a lot of that celebrity and authority and everything that we're telling them that it's going to do for them. So I think that's going to work really well. Um, and then, uh, and then I say here, I was able to pull this elegant marking tool out of my carry-on, hand it to Richard Dreyfus, and voila. All right, carry-on. I'm going to have to put something about the plane here. Okay, so I just put this in here. Who was on the same plane as me? Because I didn't, have, I didn't make that clear before. Um, there's nothing else like there out there like this. So why am I here? I put together this free online training. Talks about this crazy awesome marketing tool, how you can leverage your success in your business. Along with that, you'll discover, and these are bullet points that are, or, well, I, I made these bullet points out of some copy that was on the landing page uh, right here in this paragraph. So I just pulled that stuff out. Um, and then basically, you know, that's the call to action um, and a little bit more benefit. Uh, this is the link headline, like I talked about, and then this is the link description, which is just, you know, more curiosity kind of benefit, or curiosity copy with a call to action to get them to click through to the landing page. So I think this will uh, create con a lot of congruence between the ad and the landing page, um, and do it in a way that pulls people in, tells a little bit more story, um, and uh, gets them to, to move over to that page, and we'll get them to convert. So let me know on the copy, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to be sending out instructions to our team to, you know, get all the other stuff in place that we need to have before we can launch this. Um, what I would need to know from you as well is if you guys could get these timers worked out so that those are set up properly or just remove them from the page, um, that would be great. All right, thanks, Mike.